Hi everyone, this is Lentia, your lenticular expert on YouTube. In our previous video beginners lenticular printing tutorial using Photoshop for two image flip, we taught you how to do the interlacing using Photoshop by creating masks for individual frames to obscure the others. This technique has been used by lenticular professionals for years. But to be honest, the method can be confusing and tedious for some people. If you are one of them then this video will blow your mind because it is incredibly simple. All you need is to specify the final print size as width and height and the pitch test result, then drag and drop your images to our online app. With the press of a button, the interlaced image will be created. Before going into the details let's have an overview of what we are going to talk about. 1. Buy the lens. 2. Pitch test. 3. Interlace the images. 4. Put it together. Buy the lens. For our example, you can buy the animation lens from us. The website to purchase the lens is www.vicgi.com slash lenticular-lens.html. Please pause the video to jot down the address if you need to buy the lens from us. You can choose the lens with adhesive backing to laminate it so it becomes a lenticular print by itself. Alternatively, you can choose the lens without adhesive backing if you want to frame it. The frame can hold the lens and the interlaced image together. Pitch test. A pitch test is necessary because neither the lens LPI nor the printer resolution is exactly as what the manufacturers claim they are. By performing a pitch test we can offset this slight discrepancy. To do a pitch test you will need to print a pitch test pattern from the printer you will use to print the interlaced image. From the homepage of VICGI.com, click on the Lenticular Pitch Test link on the top. Input the LPI of the lens you have bought, say 20 or 50. Choose the resolution that matches the resolution of your printer, for example, 300 for most color laser printers, 600 for HP inkjet printers, and 720 for Epson inkjet printers. The paper size and orientation options are self-explanatory and they are not important. Press the Create Pitch Test button. Save the created file and print it with the highest resolution your printer can offer. Put the test pattern on a flat surface and put the lens on top of it with the grooves facing up. Adjust the position of the lens such that the lines on the left are straight and not jagged. Look for a band that is either totally black or white. Identify the number next to the band. For example, 20.1 in this case. Keep this number in mind and it will be used in the next step. Interlace the images. With the result of the pitch test, let's move on and interlace the images. Again, from the VICGI.com homepage, click on the Lenticular Interlace app. Put in the print size, 8x10 for example, then put in the value we got from the pitch test. Next, we need to let the app know what images we are going to animate. Let's use the two pictures of Crouton again, the cutest corgi in the world. To load the pictures into your computer, you can either use the Select Files as button or simply drag and drop the images over the gray area. Ideally, the images should have the same size. If they are not of the same size then they should have the same aspect ratio. For example, for an 8x10 image, you can have an image that is 2400 by 3000 pixels, and another with 3200 by 4000 pixels because they have the same aspect ratios. Once the images are uploaded, you will find their thumbnails here. At this point, you can drag and drop any one of them to rearrange the order. For a two image flip the order is insignificant but when the number of images is larger than two, a three image flip for example, you may want to arrange the sequence of the image to the order you want. Now everything is ready. Simply click the go interlace button and there you go, the interlaced image has been created. Go ahead and print it with the highest resolution your printer can offer. Put it together. With the interlaced image printed, put the lens on top of it with the grooves facing up. Move the lens and align it so only one image can be seen and if you move laterally another image will be seen. Secure the lens and the interlaced image on both sides and the bottom with some masking tapes. Trim off the paper on the top. Secure the top with some masking tape by wrapping the tape around.
Remove the tapes on the right. Trim off the paper. And wrap a tape around the edge. Do the same for the bottom and the left side. Now you can move the lens and interlace combo to a frame and use the back of the frame to press it firmly. Voila! The two-image lenticular flip has been successfully created. Isn't crouton lovely? Thanks for watching. If you find it useful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We strongly encourage you to make the lenticular print by yourself. But if you think it's too tedious then you can let us do the printing for you. We will print and laminate so it will be in one piece for you to put into the frame by yourself. Contact us at 408-922-0682 if you have any questions. You can also leave your questions and comments here so other people can benefit from solving the problems together. Have fun lenticular printing. Until next time, ciao.